Hey everyone, Kiwi King 77 here from acsyndicate.net here to do a video showing you how to manually update your Samsung Gal Sprint Samsung Galaxy S3 to the latest software update LF9. Um, so what you can do to check to see what software version you're on, go ahead and go into your settings, scroll down, go to about device, and under build number, just go ahead and look at the last three digits of that build number. So you'll see on mine it says L E N is the last three digits. So you'll see L E N are the last three. That would be um, the version I'm on. The latest is L F nine as of this video, of course. So they just pushed out that software update. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to manually update it, to, even if you're rooted. Uh, it's actually quite easy if you're rooted. All you have to do is get rid of your clockwork mod based recovery first. So uh, what you can do is, obviously since it's it's not gonna allow you to update if you're rooted because you have a custom recovery, so you need to get that stock recovery back. If you're not even rooted and you wanna manually update it, you can skip to a certain part of this video when I'm done flashing my stock recovery. I am rooted. This is basically for rooted users to get to the stock recovery to manually install that update. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do is download some files, actually. So, what you can do is go to the description of the video below and click on Odin. You're going to need to make sure you have Odin, so download that. Also, you're going to need to download the recovery tar, and you're also going to need to download the update zip. Once you've downloaded the update zip, uh, go ahead and plug in your device into your PC because we're going to need to transfer it on over. So, go ahead and plug that in, then go ahead and go to your PC. Once you're at your PC, you will see that the update zip file will look like this LEN to LF9 right here. What I'm going to have you do is transfer that on over to your device. So go ahead and drag it on over to phone. I don't think, I believe you can put it on your internal storage. Um, you might have to have an external SD card. I'm not positive as I haven't tried this yet. So I'll make an annotation now if you need to transfer it to an external SD card or not. I don't have one in my phone right now, but I will let you know. Uh, but you'll see the file is right there. Uh, once you see the file there, what you can do is actually rename it. So go ahead and rename it and just type in update. And that's it, hit enter. So you'll rename it to be update. And then you can go ahead and unplug your device. And once you unplug your phone, what you can do now is power it off. So just go ahead and power off your Galaxy S3, your Sprint Galaxy S3. So power it down. Now what we need to do is, um, obviously once you downloaded Odin, um, in your downloads, you will see those files. You've got your recovery tar right here, and along with Odin 307. Odin 307 is a zip file, so double click it, you'll see a folder inside. Just click and drag that folder onto your desktop. That is what I did, as you can see, Odin 307 folders right there. So click and drag that onto your desktop, and then you need to remember that recovery tar is in your downloads folder. So what we can do is go ahead and double click on that Odin folder that we just transferred to our desktop and then right click on Odin 307 and hit run as administrator. And hit yes. And then it'll open up Odin 3 right here. Uh, once Odin 3 opens up, we are almost ready to go. Let's get it set up first. Just press this PDA box right here, this PDA button, press it. Navigate to your downloads folder, and under your downloads folder, you need to find that recovery tar file. So you'll see recovery.tar right there. Double click on that recovery tar, and it will basically load up in your PDA slot. Um, and that's it. So you can have auto reboot checked and F reset time checked. Uh, once you have both of those checked, you have the recovery tar there. We are just about ready to go. What we can do is grab our phone, and we're going to need to get into download mode. To do so, what we need to do is press and hold volume down home button and power button all at the same time. So press and hold all three of them. Keep it held down and the screen will come up. Press volume up to continue and it will take you into download mode. Once done there, we can plug in our phone into our PC. Again, you do not have to do this if you have not rooted. Um, but anyways, uh, once we plug it into our PC, on Odin, you should see a box, a blue box right here. It says COM and then a number. It doesn't matter what the number is, but you'll see a blue box right there that shows that Odin recognizes your phone. Just go ahead and hit the start button, then once it recognizes your device, it shouldn't take long at all. All it is is overwriting clockwork mod recovery and flashing a recovery image, and it should automatically reboot your device. As you can see, my phone is rebooting now, and that should be it. We are just about ready to go. Let it load on up and I will be back. All right, my phone has just rebooted. You can actually unplug your device. You do not need it plugged in. Once uh, it reboots, you're ready to go. Um, and that's it. So now what you should be able to, if you're getting the over the air notification, if I go into settings and scroll down and go to system update and see update firmware or update Samsung software, I'm not sure exactly which one it is, but 
Uh, you can press it and it'll check for the update. And now that you have stock recovery, it should let you know that uh, basically there are that you can manually update it via over the air. So, but if like me, I'm not getting the over the air update, what you can do now is you have that file on your device called update. Uh, we can power off our device because we're going to need to get into that stock recovery that we just installed, which, um, which should be stock recovery, no more clockwork mod because you can't install an update zip via clockwork mod. Anyways, now once it powers off, go ahead and press and hold volume up home button and power button all at the same time. Keep them held down until the first screen lights up and then let go. Let go once it lights up. It should take us into our stock recovery. It will look a little bit different than clockwork mod. Like this. So here we go. Here is our stock recovery. Now let's go ahead and manually update our device. Manually updating our device isn't going to wipe any data. So you don't have to worry about that. So let's go ahead and what you need to do is press volume down button. Um, and you'll see apply update from external storage. So it does look like you need to apply it from your external SD card. So you will need that. Again, I'll make that annotation uh, basically at the beginning of the video so you know. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, have to put in an SD card and get that update tip on the SD card as opposed to the internal storage. All right, so I rebooted my phone and it says system update available now. I'm not going to accept it because you might not be getting this notification, so I'm going to show you how to manually do it still. But if this shows up, since you have stock recovery, you can now manually update your device. But anyways, I'm going to pop in my SD card and show you how to manually update. All right, so I went ahead and put in that SD card. Go back into stock recovery, volume up, home button, power button, all at the same time until that first screen lights up. And then let go and then it should take us back into that stock recovery again you guys should know by my annotation that lets you know that you need to have it on external storage as opposed to internal storage takes us into our stock recovery again so here we go let's go ahead and press volume down button once until it says apply update from external storage press the power button to select it and then go ahead and uh, navigate down to that update file so you'll see update.zip You'll use the volume buttons to navigate and press the power button to select it. So highlight update zip, select it with the power button, and then it's going to go ahead and basically manually install the update for your device. And that's really about it. So again, this will be how to manually do it if you're rooted. Um, obviously, even if you're not rooted and you're not getting the update notification, you can go ahead and just put the update zip on your external SD card and apply it like I just showed you how to there. So it looks like it's going to take a bit of time to do the update, even though the update file is not very big at all. So um, I believe the update's just some security fixes. So nothing major at all. It's not a jelly bean update, anything like that. It's definitely just some minor security fixes uh, for the update. It's, uh, you're not really going to notice any visual changes, any, any changes whatsoever, really. Uh, but there we go. So let it do its thing. It should automatically reboot your device, I believe, once it's done. And it looks like it did. It said install complete, rebooting, and there we go. So it looks like it's rebooting our device. My guess is the first boot up might take a little bit longer than usual just because obviously it installed an update on your device. So I'm gonna let it boot up and I will be back. All right, phone just booted up. You'll see uh, it said finalizing Android update. Android update successful. Go ahead and hit okay. And I don't know why it still says system update available. I'm going to clear that and then I'm going to go, what I'm going to do is go ahead and go into my settings, scroll down, all the way down, go to about device again, and under uh, build number you will see it says LF9 now as my last three digits. So there you have it, LF9, which is the latest. It's still Android 4.0.4 right there, uh, but it also did update your modem baseband version LF9 right there. So you will see it did uh, update your device to LF9, and there you have it. So that's how you get to the latest. If for any reason you lose root access, I'm about to do an updated video on how to root on LF9 um, because I believe the old method doesn't work anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and do an updated method if you lose uh, root. If you don't lose root, don't worry about it. Um, but other than that though, that would be how to manually update your Galaxy S3. I know I got a lot of questions about this. I'm getting this update notification. How do I update if I'm rooted? And there you have it. So that's how you do it. If you have any questions, let me know. Be sure to ask. Leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe as well. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.